All right, hey guys, so let me show you what this trick looks like from my perspective first. All right, so there it is. So one thing that you may notice about this trick is that it really isn't too difficult to do. Each element is really kind of simple. And in general, this trick is very straightforward. However, this is one of those tricks that you really have to work at to make it actually look good. So in general, this trick can be done a variety of different ways, but I think the way that Evan Nagao does this trick looks especially good since obviously since he created it. So in general, after I complete the actual tutorial for this trick, I'm going to give you guys some tips and encourage you to work on really presenting this trick in a very dynamic and engaging way for the audience. But first up, let's get to the tutorial. So we're all gonna start in a basic trapeze. From here, you're gonna do a pretty strange element in my opinion. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to roll the yo-yo over like this. So you know how you kind of roll the yo-yo in front of your fingers like this and you get this little wrap right there. So you're gonna roll the yo-yo over like that. What you're gonna do is you're going to kind of catch with your throw hand right here. So this is a very strange movement in general, but mid roll, what you're gonna do is you're gonna catch this string right here. So you're gonna kind of grab these two strings right here with this hand right here, my throw hand. So again, we're gonna roll the yo-yo over like this in a clockwise direction. And you're gonna intercept both the yo-yo and the string with this hand right here. So it's going to look just like this. Again, you're gonna intercept the yo and the string with your throw hand, just like this. In addition, one little thing that I do is I kind of curl this finger over like here. So right when I'm at this part, I kind of curl my pointer finger of my throw hand like this. I just kind of curl that over. So that, that's just a little note that I have. It kind of makes the trick a little bit easier. So when I'm here, I hit this and curl my finger over. All right, so now that we're here, we went like this. And so our hand is facing down. Now we're gonna turn our hand over like this and kind of expand these strings right here. And now you're going to um, grab this right here and just roll the yo onto this string right there. So again, we've like kind of grabbed these with our with these four fingers on our throw hand, roll it on over like that. All right, so again, we've gone here and now we've we, our hand was turned over. We're gonna turn it over like this, expand and land right on that string with grabbing these strings right here. So just like that. So it can get a little bit confusing here with all these kind of twists in the string, but I just encourage you guys, once you do this step right here, your finger should be pointing down like this. Just put your thumb right in there, turn your hand up like that, and you roll onto the string that's farther away from you. And now for the very last part of the trick, it really is pretty simple. Once you're in this mount, you're gonna drop everything on your throw hand, so just like this. And from here, what you're going to do is bring this hand right here, my non-throw hand, you're gonna bring it underneath the yo coming from the back, and you're gonna bring this hand right here, my throw hand, to the front. So switching places with this hand coming from the front. So here's what that looks like. And so essentially, once we're right here, we're again, jumping the yo into the air. This hand right here is gonna come underneath the yo like this, and this hand right here is gonna come underneath the yo like that. But your arms are going to switch positions at the exact same time. So instead of just going like this and like that, you're going to switch positions at the exact same time, so like this. So again, this hand right here, my non-throw hand, is coming around from the back side of the yo-yo, and this one's going around the front side of the yo-yo. So we're here, going like that, and we're gonna hop the yo-yo like that. Now you should be in a backwards triangle. From here, you can really dismount in any way. Personally, I like to kind of just roll out like that and let it pop out the very front, but you can dismount the backwards triangle however you like. So if you don't wanna do that like rollout technique I was showing earlier, this one right there, you can additionally just go and pop out the front like that. That works too. But yeah, essentially that is the trick. And in general, like I said before, there really aren't that many parts to it. Here, I'm gonna give you some tips on making this trick look especially good. Because you'll notice when Evan Nagao does this trick, he really makes it look super dynamic and flashy. So here's some tips. 
For this first element, you really kind of want to throw the yo-yo down like that. You really kind of want to make it look super snappy and super sharp. So once these strings hit this hand right here, you really kind of want to jerk the yo-yo down like that. That's going to allow it the kind of like configurations to just look super snappy and just really fresh and like engaging to the audience. So again, with this very first step, once you have the trick down, try to kind of like sharply push the yo-yo down like that. For this next one, you can also kind of use the momentum of the yo-yo that's working with you. So you can kind of like keep the motion of the yo-yo like that. There aren't really too many things to make this little just flop like that look super smooth. But in general, try to use the momentum and motion of the yo-yo to your advantage. Just kind of go like that. And now for this step, and this is another step that can look really cool, is I recommend if once you got this trick down, try to release everything off of your throw hand and move your hands at the exact same time. So it would look like this. In general, if you can do that motion kind of like really fast, it just looks super dynamic. And also make sure that once you kind of move your hands around, really kind of make the configuration look snappy and pull your hands apart really hard. So like that. You'll see how it really snapped into place right there versus I could have just kind of gone like this and just kind of jumped into the mount. It kind of looks more sloppy when you do it like that. Instead, I really recommend you guys move these hands, you know, underneath the O in that way and underneath the O in that way. Move it super fast and super snappy. So like that. Now, obviously that's a little bit extreme because the O kind of went out of control, but you guys get the point. Basically, I, just, I recommend this last motion, this final motion, just look super snappy like that. And so those are just some tips to make the trick look even better. I recommend you guys watch Evan Nagao do this trick because I think his presentation is probably the best and try to pick out some other things he does to make this trick look really good. So one more time, I'm gonna go through just each step of the trick, the basics. Trapeze, intercept with this hand right here, like that. Turn this finger over like that, land on this string. You're gonna move this hand like that and this hand like that. And you should be in the backwards green triangle, which you can pop out in whatever way you want.